Let me say we welcome you to our 2019 State of the Tribe Address, which by our Constitution is mandated and is to be done the first week of July. We just thank you for taking your time to come in such a glorious occasion as this. The Tribal Chairman shall deliver tonight to the General Membership an annual State of the Tribe Address the first week of July, which shall include an annual proposed budget for the upcoming fiscal year. I challenge each of you tonight to become more engaged with our tribal community and our government. Come to meetings, share your opinions, and engage in respectful and productive dialogue. Become involved with our Boys and Girls Clubs. Come to the powwow, the fall festival, and prayer service, and also our culture classes each week. This year, we had three, in the last year and a half, three monitoring reviews. This year, we received the results from the 2018 monitoring visit from HUD. And very stressful, trust me. That visit resulted in the best review of this tribe's housing department in the over 10 years. Last month, as a part of the Title VI Loan Dreamcatcher Project, we completed a mini monitoring review again by HUD, after which our Office of Native American Programs Office gave us a clean bill of health. The federal government requires an annual financial audit of our tribal government and all our grants. This week, we received our annual financial audit from Stauffer and Associates from Washington State, and the results were zero findings. We all bring something unique and needed to the Lumbee table. If we as a people are going to continue to be successful, we must put our personal feelings aside and focus on what un unites us, the love for our people. We are who we are because of where we come from and what we value, our belief in God, our focus on the value of an education to our people, our entrepreneurship spirit, our connection to our culture and to our land, and whether the federal government recognizes us or not, or whether other groups like, like the Eastern Band of Cherokees like it or not, we are Indian and we are Lumbee Indians. And we will rise up and we're going to rise up and going to rise up. We are the mighty Lumbee, protecting now and forever the Lumbee way of life. God bless America and God bless the Lumbee people. I love you. Thank you. ago and all of their comments that they were giving to us was very positive. They were upbeat about the direction that the tribe was going in. Now they were happy saying that we had more credibility now with HUD, with HUD financing than it had ever been since they started the program with the tribe. As a veteran and listening to the State of the Union address tonight, I was impressed with what the chairman had to say about our people and what he's doing for federal recognition. Not only that, but what he's doing for our veterans and our elders. Not only that, it's for the epidoid uh, uh, situation we're having with drugs with our uh, Native Americans. He's on top of that. And so I'm very proud of our chairman, the administrator, and what the Lumbee Tribe is doing for our federal recognition and for our people. Uh, my name is Jordan McGirt. I'm the manager slash operator of the Lumbee Tribe Aquatic Center. Some of the things that we're doing this past few years with the Aquatic Centers were allowing with the Boys and Girls Club to come in and swim every day of the week as part of their program. And part of that is we're teaching them swim lessons, we're teaching them a life skill and a safety skill that they can use and pass on to future generations. So now that the pool is finally in a state where it can be utilized, it is phenomenal. Uh, we have the Perno Sweat Swim Team, which I'm the coach of, will be coming out there and doing summer practices. And we're able to finally have a facility that our people can use. Before that, there were, there's not that many open area swimming areas in Robson County. I've been a Pembroke Council woman for the past six years. 
Uh, the town of Pembroke and the tribe have been working together for different things that's going on with the tribe. And right now, one of the most impressive things for me is the Boy and Girls Club because children are our future. And I think that Harvey Godwin's part is with the children and making sure that our children have a future. I, I was really impressed with his concern with the homeless among the veterans. And he, he said there's already 20 veterans that's been placed in housing and there's 20 on the waiting list and he's assured us that those other 20 will be placed in housing also. The outreach is wide and that is going to be a great asset for this tribe. And for our chairman to expand and bring the tribe to the point of where we are, as HUD said, we have come a long ways and they're proud of us. Freedom is right, all the people fight, everybody's created the same. In the midst of mass confusion, everybody's got a different illusion of what is right. Guess I better come out and face it, first time's dark, then along comes light. Yo!